Hey guys, what's up? Good evening. So um, in this video, I'm going to be responding to one of my viewers who says, Hey Chris, I'm a programming noob. I like that, N-O-O-B. Uh, 28 years old, and I've decided that I'd like to teach myself Lua because I have a strong interest in hack, hacking, bot, and scripting programming for a favorite game of mine, League of Legends. I'm wondering what your opinion is of Lua and if you would re recommend it as a first language. I've watched a handful of videos and played around with CodeCombat.com and I'm starting to become familiar with the concepts of strings, variables, functions, and logical if and uh, then statements. Uh, you really inspire me to keep my learning process going and I would love to hear back from you. Your fan, Robert. All right, thanks, Robert. I appreciate it. Uh, that's awesome that, that you say that you're my fan. Um, uh, because I've never really had fans, so <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I won't let that get to my head, though, but I definitely appreciate you reaching out. Uh, a lot of times I don't know what to talk about, and then I can just read the comments, and I can find something to talk about. Now, you asked uh, what my experience is with Lua. I've been programming now for six years. Uh, I started programming when I was your age, so 28. Um, I actually got into Perl programming, which was a lot more popular then than it is now, but it's still a top 10 language, um, at least top 15. Um, the... The Lua language has been around for like 30 some years, and to be honest with you, I've never once touched it. So I, I would not be the best at giving advice on on what Lua is great for. Um, I, my simple research with Lua would be, you know, what you would be able to look up yourself as far as what it's used for and whether or not it's good for bots and things like that. Um, my programming exper expertise, or when I jumped into programming initially. Um, I was interested also in scripting. I needed things to be able to to rip through web pages, pull out data, store them to files, read those files, and do something with that data. Um, so that's pretty much what I was doing. I was I was collecting data on different rock bands for my music website. So I started with Perl, which has always been a very good text um, extraction language. And there's been a lot of bots written in Perl. Um, but Perl was a very difficult language for me just because there were so many different ways of accomplishing the same thing. I've always um, been a big fan of Python, and when it, it wasn't until I switched from Perl to Python that I actually hit the ground running. For me, Python made things so much easier to deal with. If I have an editor in a Python language, I can write scripts uh, with, the, with the best of them. So um, even when I was first getting started uh, with Python, um, it, it allowed me to be able to just accomplish so much, I felt like, um, than, than writing in Perl. So if what you're trying to do is the same thing, you're building scrapers and things like that, I mean, I think Python is the best language to learn. But that doesn't mean that Lua is not a feasible alternative because, like I said, I've never used Lua, so I can't say anything really good or bad about it. Um, I can refer to some of the common... Um, you know, the common websites to kind of give us a, a, an idea on what this uh, website's popularity is. Uh, TLB Index is probably the most um, widely regarded list of, of what the top languages in the, in the industry are. Um, so you can see like Perl number nine, where I was talking about Python's number five, um, Java number one, C, C++, C Sharp, which is also what I do um, as a day job. And then uh, as you go down the list, um, you can see Lua is hanging around down here at 31, which isn't bad. It sounds like it's bad, but it's really not. There's hundreds of languages out there, and Lua um, has been established in the industry for a long time. I've heard of Lua uh, since the days of getting started in programming, but uh, ultimately Lua has never replaced Python or C Sharp or Java or any of those top 10 languages as saying, hey, you should learn Lua to do script, scripts and, and bots and stuff like that. Um, to be honest, um, Python has some excellent uh, hacking type uh, systems like the, for building scrapers like the Google search engine scraper. Uh, there's a Python program called Python Scrappy. It's not a program, but it's more of a, a library, a module of Python code. But Scrappy is built for actually parsing web pages and getting data. So it's a, it's a full scripting thing. Now, you're going to find this very difficult, though, starting off with with uh, with programming. Um, based on what you said you just started getting into, I would not jump into something like this right now. If you're going to stick with Lua, that's fine. But if you're going to do Python, try not to jump into one of these you know, built-up libraries because this typically takes a decent amount of knowledge with Python before you can actually utilize it. And it might turn you off to the whole thing. Um, but ultimately, if you become good at something like Python and you're building scripts, then you can make use of something like Scrappy and uh, probably be able to accomplish a lot of what you're looking to do. 
Now, another thing too is if you're getting into the industry, uh, a lot of people, even if you're playing with Lua just to write scripts and bots and stuff like that, you're probably wanting to be able to eventually take your knowledge and be able to maybe get a job in the industry, you know, making money as a Lua developer. Uh, one of the issues that I would caution with Lua is that like if I go to Indeed.com, their number one jobs website, and I type in Lua, I have 460 jobs that get returned in the entire country. And one thing that's notorious about Indeed.com is that a lot of these websites, and I've seen it personally, um, these jobs that are being posted, sometimes they're being posted by um, IT recruiters, and the IT recruiters are posting the same shit over and over again. Um, or some you know, recruiter is reposting some rec other recruiter's position. Uh, but ultimately, I'm seeing four and five postings from different recruiters for the same job. I find that infuriating, actually. Uh, but... That's one of the things that I would caution, but yeah, 460 jobs on Indeed.com uh, is not very good. So then I looked at, um, you know, the Google Trends, and I see that, you know, it, it's not really any, it's, you know, it's kind of gone up, but you see it's kind of flat, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not like some peaking, you know, language, so... I don't know. I guess I would caution if you're trying to get into this industry for jobs and everything like that. So, I mean, why choose Lua over Python if you're just getting started? At least with Python, um, you're talking about there's a you know there's a huge industry. Look, 43,000, almost 44,000 open positions for Python right now. If you're looking at C Sharp, uh, 38,000 jobs. Even Perl, Perl, something that's been dying in popularity for a long time, 22,000 jobs. You look at a monster like Java, 85,000 jobs. So uh, a lot of people, I didn't mean to click on that ad, a lot of people, you know, they want to make sure that they're learning something that's not going to become obsolete. And I'm not saying Lua is going to become obsolete, but if you're just getting started, why not get started in something that's a little bit more uh, ingrained and fine-tuned with what the industry is using right now? So that's basically my advice. And um, I appreciate, once again, the, the fact that you say that uh, you watch my videos and that, that you're inspired, and, and I wish you the best with, with learning. And I can't recommend Python enough for learning. In fact, um, I'll point to uh, a video right now in, uh, in Python, or at least in the description, that you should check out because I have a, an entire video on why you should learn Python programming. And it goes into um, so many different things about why Python is a very popular language right now and why it's the number one most taught language in IT schools. In fact, here is the video right here, why you should learn Python programming. So if you just search that on my channel, um, this goes in. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty upvoted. I vote, upvoted myself. But 89,000 views, and a lot of people like it. So pretty good video. And the 24 downvoters, those are just haters you always have. People are very, very religious about their languages. But um, anyway, that's all I got. So I appreciate you watching. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.